Hi everyone, and a special welcome to all the students, staff, and parents of Durham Catholic who are joining us for a special night of Tesi. My name is Father Ravi, and I am the associate pastor here at Holy Family Parish in Whitby. I would like to welcome all those who continue to join us in this reflective prayer and those who are new. Thank you for being here to be with the Lord, to seek his mercy and grace. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm the youth minister here at Holy Family. And today we're going to be praying um, in a Teze style, which allows us to quiet our hearts, to bring our burdens to the Lord, to meditate on scripture, and to worship him through song. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. During this time, let us offer ourselves to God, that God may come into our lives and touch whatever we are going through, and heal us from everything. Let us pray. Loving God, you are the source of our life, and you have promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us as we journey through this life. Despite the many times when our eyes can't see you, can't take you in, can't comprehend how you can be at work in pain and disappointment and sorrow. We pray that the Holy Spirit would lift our sights to your wide horizons. Teach us to pray with such openness and bring us to a place where we are willing to place our lives in your keeping to submit to your life changing love and to walk with our hearts set on salvation. We ask these in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You are 
Now we are reading the word of God and those who are able please stand and listen to the word. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us reflect on this Gospel. Jesus is talking us through his words. Now I invite you to offer all your prayers and petitions if you have something in your heart or maybe if you want to pray for someone, let us remember those and offer our prayers, becoming confident that we can entrust all our needs to our loving God. Let us offer these prayers. The response to our prayers is, Risen Lord, hear our prayers. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For the church, may she be a beacon of light and hope in the world. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For Father Ravi, Father Laszlo, and for all of our priests and deacons in the Durham region, that God may give them the wisdom to guide us all to become holy in following Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For the leaders of our country, may their commitment to justice and peace make the world a better place for all people. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For the end of COVID-19, for the health and safety of frontline workers and for all those in our community, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers for all who are sick and for those close to death, that Jesus, the risen Savior, will give them his peace, grace, and strength. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For the students, staff, and families of Durham Catholic, as we rejoice in the resurrection, we praise that, that our eyes too are open to the wonderful unity which Jesus shares with us. We pray to the Lord. 
Risen Lord, hear our prayers. For our Holy Father's prayer intentions for April, we pray for those who risk their lives while fighting for fundamental rights under dictatorships, authoritarian regimes, and democracies in crisis. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty, ever-living God, open our ears that we may know your will and our hearts that we may know the peace that comes from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's all together say the prayer which the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, we want to be completely transformed into your mercy and to be your living reflection. May the greatest of all divine attributes, your unfathomable mercy, pass through our hearts and souls to our neighbor. Help us, Lord, that our eyes may be merciful so that we may never suspect or judge from appearances, but look for what is beautiful in our neighbor's souls. Help us, Lord, that our ears may be merciful so that we may give heed to our neighbor's needs and not be indifferent to their pains. Help us, Lord, that our words may be merciful so that we should never speak negatively of our neighbors, but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. Help us, Lord, that our hands may be merciful and filled with good deeds, so that we may do only good to our neighbors and take upon the most difficult and toilsome tasks. Help us, Lord, that our feet may be merciful so that we may hurry to assist our neighbor, overcoming our own fatigue and weariness. Help us, Lord, that our hearts may be merciful so that we may feel all the sufferings of our neighbor. May your mercy rest in us. We thank you, Lord, for the confidence and encouragement 
we have gained through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that we may be made worthy of your promise of salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and strengthen you and guide you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.